Ha! Not today, Amoeba. Ow. Why are you such a jerk, cockroach? Not good. Hey, you know what? I want you to go. Oh, you cheated! You can't just suddenly move your head down. Uh, rage wells up inside of me. That's all I have to say. Go away. The amoeba, while it does take damage, will not die until all the orbs are gone, in case anyone was wondering. Hey, you big cheater. <sighs> Alright, save state it is. I secretly made a sneaky save state over here. Typically, I don't like to save state, but... It's the difference of us grinding for our EXP back. Let us triumphantly strike this massive beast. Spiky Ball is the dinosaur. No trouble there. I wonder if this guy's a relative of Zoidberg. Actually, it's very possible that this is one of Zoidberg's ancestors. After all, he's got the tentacly things, and Zoidberg eats everything, so it's no surprise that this creature has all these other creatures inside of it. Prepare to die. If only we could get the cockroach in a pattern like that. I take it back, the bird is no longer a threat. I'm putting the two highest threat levels on the cockroach and the fish. Speaking of the fish... Alright fish, let's go! Jeez, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's like... It's hard to even get a hit off without him biting you in the face. Double slam. Ow! Okay, staying in the cent in the middle of him kind of prevents him from attacking us. God, amoeba. Hey, anybody else notice the striking similarity of this background and the background that you fight Maxim in, in Harmony of Dissonance? You guys are big cheaters. FINALLY! And I eat your corpse with great gusto. And shining exuberance of victory. That really only leaves the cockroach. Seriously, that fish is just bad news. It's kind of anticlimactic though. I know I was whining and complaining. Oh, I hope I get the hard ones early. But now I'm just, like, not worried about the battle. I'm like, oh, okay. Now we just gotta grind through these other... Oops. These other monsters. In a kind of funny way, that is sort of the secret to winning, is just amassing your EVO points and healing yourself.
Sad jellyfish is sad. And then, after you defeat all the orbs, this giant creature laughs, explains that time has been repeating itself, and he sends you back to the past to repeat the cycle over again, until a group of four warriors, holding the orbs of light, conquer the foe and fight his alter ego, Chaos. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting that confused with an alternately frustrating game. Come on, Acoustica. Alright. Ask and thou shalt receive. And go away. If I remember though, it was a lot harder to do this as the pterodactyl. I think. I think it was just harder in different ways, actually. So I'm thinking of some things, and I'm like, well, in a couple ways it would be easier, the whole, you know, being able to fly thing. Hey! Don't hit me after I just healed. Actually, don't hit me at all. Two more, friends. Oh, this is the tiny acoustic, isn't it? Try and attack it. Have at the. Oh, I don't want to eat that. Actually, let's get a quick save state. Ha! <laughs> Minus five. Alright, I was afraid it was going to kill us. Like, you eat it and just this 999. Alright, cockroach. We meet again. Let's rumble. No, seriously, like, we gotta rumble because. You're the only guy we haven't killed yet. I mean, seriously, on his own, he's not that bad. It's just... When you hit him, he just does the flyy thing. I mean, well, maybe we should jump on him. Or we could just get hit by the... slug. Alright, let's see what happens when we try and... Oh, can I evolve in this creature? Okay. I believe that leaves us with the elephant. Seems to be our best bet at this time. Suddenly, the human transforms into an elephant! We're slow, but we have a tusk. Which is going to make killing this much easier. Horns for the win. Get out of the way, slug thing. Wow, is it dead yet? Seriously? I mean, we are just laying down the hurt here. Alright, there we go. We will win as an elephant! No! How funny it would have been if a guy had to marry an elephant. Ah! Goodbye, amoeba of death. Kind of feel sorry. Well, that's that. I am Gaia. Thank you for defeating Bulbox. We would not have had any future in the land of Eden if they would have come here. Let us go to Eden. Finally, we are close to the end of evolution. Gaia said if they would come here. I wonder if Bulbox was actually multiple creatures. I mean, seems silly now that we just fought him, and of course he had multiple creatures in him, but I wonder if they were all absorbed into one entity. And that by beating down Ballbox, it split the entities off of him. Floating guy ahead! I am Gaia. Finally, you have reached Eden. You have passed a severe test of nature. No kidding! You have completed the trial, survival of the fittest. Our future is before us. We can control our destiny. Let's continue our journey together. Well, guy, I've made fun of you, but honestly, 
we have been partners through the whole thing, so there is a bond there, you know? Oh gosh, you aliens. After all our attempts, we were not successful. That is correct. It was our pride, and I am very sorry we intervened in the evolution of this planet. I think it's okay now. They can become even better creatures now than we ever expected. You're right. We should advise them only if they have a real problem. We should watch over them with a kindness. It shall be done. We will do this until our culture has developed on Mars. <laughs> but your culture will never develop! You have been chosen by Gaia and have completed the trial. From now on, please be a good partner to Gaia and create a wonderful planet. I would like to give you something called intelligence. You can create a civilization and help the world prosper by using your intelligence. Please be careful and use it wisely. If you use it improperly, you will have a much harder trial than the one you just experienced. If you choose wisely, you will create a wonderful world. We will give you the land of Eden and accept you into our family. The Sun Family. Go to Eden with Gaia. <laughs> and don't eat the fruit! Tweet tweet bird. Listen everybody, we will begin a new age. Oh, thank you for saying that, random bird. Who knows where the future will lead us? Probably to the sinful corruption that exists today! Congratulations, everyone! We've created the downfall of man. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, fun game that can get frustrating at the end. EVO is definitely one of the SNES's greatest. I won't say it's got a stellar storyline or even great dialogue. I mean, that's pretty much obvious when you play it. However, the game itself is fun and creative, and it's really easy to pick up and just create something random. It does kind of suffer, I feel like, at the end of the game, but then again, that's because the fun of the game is starting out small and getting big. You start out as a small, insignificant fish, where everything is just tiny, you're doing small numbers of damage, and then you get later on in the game, and it kind of explodes to the point where it's just like, you're no longer excited about what you might become. That's why the game is so much fun. It's the funnest in the beginning, because in the beginning, you have no idea what you're going to become. You're constantly changing into newer creatures, and you feel like you have endless potential. The, and that's why at the end of the game, you kind of hit this wall. You're like, well, yeah, I've become exactly what I wanted to become through the whole game. I've evolved into the highest form of whatever path I chose. But then you're like, there's nothing left for me. That's the whole fun of the game, is to evolve, to look forward for that new crazy combination of legs and body shape and horns and, eh, getting, honestly, the human is a letdown. It's like, okay, I'm a human, but what do I go from there? It would be cooler if you could turn into something like crazy after you became a human, like maybe a cyber robot or something. Well, it really wouldn't make any sense, but honestly, you can't complain. The game itself is great. I don't know how they program so many sprites for so many combinations. I wonder if each sprite is its own sprite and they actually went through and programmed the game to have all the different sprites, or if they actually just kind of made it so that it layered the object on top of the spray. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not a programmer uh, by any sort of definition, so I don't really understand it. But that's EVO, friends. I'm glad that uh, you stuck around with me this long. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it either brought back great memories of when you used to play it, or I hope if you haven't seen it that you were at least interested. I'm sorry we had to resort to save states at the end. That end fight can get pretty frustrating, and I mean, eh, I, 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 I honestly look down upon save stating, but when in, in this particular case, like I said, we could have saved on the overworld and just rebooted every time uh, we died to get our EXP back kind of gimmicky because it's like yeah whoever has the most exp is really the winner it's almost not even a, an amount of skill because you have so much exp you can just always heal it's probably one of the downsides of the game but you don't really play the game for the battle system so much you just play it to evolve and have fun so we're at the end now we've conquered the world we've made it to eden we find the world at peace once again and another ad epic adventurous let's play.
What adventures await us in the future, friends? Only time will tell. Until then, keep the Let's Plays rolling.